Welcome back to another video and we've been hearing today that Manchester United have given Dean Henderson a new contract for Manchester United, keeping him at the club on £120,000 a week which is being reported. Now this is huge for Manchester United because it does now seem he's one of the highest paid goalkeepers in the Premier League. Now this does seem like the faith shown by the manager and by the board towards Dean Henderson, that Dean Henderson is at least going to be in contention for Manchester United to be starting as the number one goalkeeper next season alongside David De Gea. It, to me, it seems like the, the club and Ole Gunnar Solskjaer are putting the faith in them two to battle it out for that number one position. Now, is this the right move? We've, I mean, Manchester United have got to do something in the goalkeeper situation. Now, De Gea was absolutely shit this season, making so many mistakes. And I've backed the geezer so many times because he has been, in the past, he was absolutely flawless at times, making fucking so many saves. He was up there with the best in the world. He really was. He probably was, for a period of time, the best at making saves. He was constantly making saves after saves where Manchester United were absolutely bullshit. There were so many times where he had to save us because the defence was so shit. I mean, we were playing the likes of Jones, Smalling and shit like that at the back. And he was saving our bacon so much or the defence would have been the worst, probably one of the worst in the league. And now the last season and this season just gone, he's made more and more mistakes. And there were some horrendous ones last season. You look back to Watford, you look back to Chelsea, games like that. I mean, Everton, he was flapping around. There's so many games where you think he could have saved them. Would Romero have saved them? Probably yes. And every time Romero was playing, he was keeping so many clean sheets. And even against Laville, Romero didn't play no clean sheet. And it does just... You do just think, is Romero giving the Manchester United... I mean, yeah, is Romero giving the Manchester United team that little bit more confidence, the back line a bit more confidence? Because we haven't been a team that's kept a huge amount of clean sheets for a long while. I mean... For a long while, I mean, and I mean, we did keep a decent amount of clean sheets, but not nowhere near what Manchester United should be doing in the league. We should be up there with the top if Manchester United are to. We should have a keeper that's capable of winning the Golden Glove season after season because this is Manchester United and the defence should be top. And now the defence probably isn't top, top notch at the moment. We do understand that, but the goalkeeper has been definitely a shambles this season, but is, is Dean Henderson the man to come into Manchester United and change that? I'm, I mean, I'm not totally convinced. I mean, he's done very well at Sheffield United, but I'm not saying he's the geezer that's going to come, come back to Manchester United and be number one for the next 10 years. I, I really don't know at this moment in time whether he can be. He's pulled off some decent saves for Sheffield United, but you do remember some clangers as well. Against Liverpool, he made a horrendous clanger, went through his legs. There has been a couple of others others over the last season or so. And you look back to when Manchester United signed Ben Foster and then he went out on loan to Watford in the Premier League. And he was absolutely flawless at Watford. I think he was their player of the season. Nearly helped him stay, try to help him stay in the, in the Premier League. Then he comes back to Manchester United and he, and he has some poor games when he's played and he's not played enough. And then we, we have Van der Sar in goal and just keep Van der Sar in goal for the next few years. And, and he's off to other clubs and he's never really done anything in the in the in the sense of what they thought Ben Foster was going to do and that was going to go on and be the Manchester United number one and England number one that never materialized he was a solid keeper but never the Manchester United level and this could be the case for Dean Henderson the pressure at Manchester United is so much more I mean if you if he makes one or two mistakes next season the pressure is going to crank on that is if he plays and I mean it's healthy competition for David here don't get me wrong we need some competition of, of a goalkeeper that could potentially be playing because I, I just think that he always sees Romero as the backup goalkeeper. I mean, Romero is in his 30s now, isn't going to challenge David De Gea now for the future number one spot. Romero is not going to be around two, three, four years' time challenging. De Gea is still only, what, 28, I mean, 30, is he? About 30. So he could still have three or four years left, left in him at the top, I mean. And challenging, having someone to challenge you might bring the best out of him. I mean, I think it did 
with, with the same with the left back position with Brandon Williams and Luke Shaw. I think Luke Shaw was better this season with the fact that he had Brandon Williams there to push him a bit harder. I think that probably did help, although Luke Shaw's problems with fucking injuries are, are horrendous and whether he is reliable is, is there to be seen. But I think having someone to push him probably helped him a bit more to improve his game because if you don't improve, you're out of that team. And that would be the case here. If David Hare doesn't improve, doesn't cut out their mistakes, could well be out of the team. So, I mean, it's a lot of money. We've shown faith in him. He is now going to be, from what I gather, the main challenger to David Hare. Whether he's the starter or the backup one, he probably will start as the second choice. But it does show a lot of faith by the club that they want this guy to be the number one. I think he's 23 years of age as he is now. Just got himself into the England team. So... That does show that he, that we see him as that long-term number one. And let's just hope it does save us a few million quid because we don't want to have to go out and buy a new goalkeeper as well because we've got other crucial areas and we're still fucking around. We haven't signed any players. We're barely even getting linked with any players besides some absolutely horrendous rumours like Lionel Messi, Fatty. Shit that's just not going to happen for Manchester United. And it is a real worry for Manchester United that there's still fuck all talked about in the press, in the news. I mean, I'm just hoping that we pull some rabbits out the hat in the coming weeks and just go bish, bash, bonk and get two or three done within a couple of weeks. But knowing Manchester United, that is just never going to happen. We haven't done that for a long while. The last time we went, went and just really quickly signed two or three players was under Fergie. I mean, we just don't do that. We seem to dawdle on one transfer. One transfer finally gets done. Then... <coughs> We wait about another two or three weeks before we concentrate on the second one. It's, it's absolutely fucking diabolical. It really is. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think of this Dean Henderson signing a new contract on about 120 grand a week? I think it's on about a five or six year deal, which is a long term deal. One of the highest paid goalkeepers in the Premier League when we've already got David Hare on the money that he is on. So it shows faith that... Dean Henderson is here for the future. It looks like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer and the board see him as the future number one. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section below. Like the video if you're new around here and share the video if you're watching it on Facebook. Hopefully soon there will be some better breaking news from Manchester United regarding transfers, regarding update and we can talk a bit more about stuff that, that was more exciting to talk about someone actually coming into the club. Anyway, I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.